Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith, and we are looking at two exciting teams competing in the round of six. Check for you on how Brentford will line up for this match. 4 3 3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. West Ham United's lineup is this Adrian starts in goal, Michael Carrick starts looking to continue his great form in midfield, Marco Anatovic plays up top with Javier Hernandez. Attacking well here. Good challenge here. Fernandez! He scored! Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. A goal from Fernandez. And he couldn't have tucked that in the bottom left any more accurately and hit with real power. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. In front now, West Ham. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Return pass. And here's an opportunity. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Giving it straight away. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Now they're pressing in at him. Marco Anatovic. Getting forward well as a team now. This is how they love to play on the break. Anders! Goalkeeper. Able to make a save here. Woods. Clark. And it's a shot now! Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser. Kamohelo Mokocha. I like the look of this attack. Have a go, the crowd are urging him. Chance from the pass. Well, they were saying shoot, shoot. Don't think they'll be saying it next time. I think they'll be shouting pass, pass after that. What a shocking attempt. Could pose some danger now. In with a chance. That's going to be a corner. Corner played in. Defender has taken a gamble. It looks as though it's paid off. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. This is the kind of uh, pitch. But I think attacking players favour Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders and, uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing and uh, you're in. Obia. Marco Anatovic. Moving forward. Judge. It's Carrick. Holland! Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Good position here. Very much in free kick territory. This foul.
the fourth official has indicated up and perhaps here three minutes of added time getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away the break is definitely on on now to reach the ball's loose goalkeeper made the save but he couldn't hold it well the referee has signaled for half time and it's one nil here Really good contest this for a place in the quarter-finals of the English League Cup, but still a second half to go, and here it is, starting now. Yeah, sometimes comes down to who wants it the most. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Throw in to come. Lanzini. Cresswell. Obiang. Now here's a chance. back here to set up a chance well that could be the insurance goal here that little bit of daylight that they were after you've got to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net but the goalkeeper was in a decent position but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in just widen the margin here to 2-0 judge Javier Hernandez. And they've cut it out. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. And that will be a goal kick. Getting forward well as a team now. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. And now to Rich. It has to be. That is a penalty kick. But once the challenge came in, he went down without any hesitation. Got his reward. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Yeah, it was a, a forwards tackle in many ways. A poor one. But he's got options on the bench, of course. Good penalty. Put away from the spot in style. Yeah, the way he walked up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. I don't think we expected this. Such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Camohelo Mococcio. judge now here's a chance to get at the opposition that will help ease the pressure Hernandez they can be quick on the break now still got a bit to... he might be through they can't stop him goal yes it's a goal from the substitute and he's quickly made his mark on proceedings here Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is an act. They've made it look very easy, Alan. It isn't always as easy as this. You say two should always score against the one goalkeeper, but nobody panicked. No, nobody did. I think they realised they had time. They realised they'd broken through, and it was two against one, and uh, they made it count. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Good forward play from them. Good clearance. 
Offside is the call. We can see it again, which of course the officials can't. No, they get one chance, and he's done well with his chance. He's made the correct call. The player's done well here until it was the direction of the pass, really. Right idea, but couldn't find his man. It's out over the touchline. More news on the injury, and Jeff Shreves is the man in possession of the information. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there, and you can see the discomfort he's in. But he's a tough guy, I think he'll carry on. Jeff Shreves just keeping us right up to date there. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. He can't keep it on the pitch, it's gone out for a throw. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Hernandez. Lanzini. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Clark. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Attacking now. Good defending. Break quickly when they get possession. The break is definitely on. Well, let's look at it again, Alan. It was very close and there would have been a scoring opportunity. Yeah, I mean, it was a good position they fashioned themselves into there. And uh, he did go... of the second early he was off and the referee spotted that deflection he's pointed for the corner trying to shout them across the winning line here the West Ham fans we can't help but stimulate motivate these players such support getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away Marco Anatovic, Javier Hernandez. Striding forward, purposefully. This could be a chance. Shot on! Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. Well, they line up for the corner. Swung in from the corner. Shots on here. Lanzini. He went in well. There we are, final whistle. Well then, cup tie. English League Cup, Brentford 0, West Ham United 4, Chelsea 3, Scunthorpe United 0, Fleetwood Town 0, Leeds United 0, Fleetwood Town won 4-3 on penalties, Leicester City 1, Hull City 2.
It's been a good effort, really, by all concerned, to turn what was an athletics arena into a football stadium here in East London, the London Stadium. Big reshuffle from the manager for West Ham United. Michael Carrick starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. And it's good to see them going with two strikers today. Brighton will... Carroll! Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Picked off that pass, and now he's got the ball and a chance to create something. Well, they are in trouble, aren't they? And actually, they'll need all three points to get out of the relegation zone. Yeah, and I, I think they should get it, but um, I'm sure the manager will be a bit concerned with the form. You know, we've played quite a few games now and they're still lingering down there at the bottom. This with a chance to go into the lead now. That's even better play to stop the chance. The pressure to absorb high up the pitch. Good challenge. When they're challenged like this, all they can do is just clear their lines no more. It's with Holland. David Perper. Pascal Gross. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. That's good movement forward here. That whipped in ball at the near post. And that is the first goal. And it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day. They have scored a really good goal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Used the power on the delivery, really, and his head guided it home. Oh, he's good at those. He's one of the best headers of the ball around and showed it there. West In front Ham now, United. West Ham. Number nine, Andy Carroll. Sacco. Carrick on the ball. Neatly intercepted. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. And this will be a goal kick. Let's take another look here at Carroll's goal. It's given them the lead here. On to the attack now. Carroll! Carroll! And that's at the goalkeeper. Not really what the uh, attacker had in mind.
Lanzini getting forward well. As a team now. Referee says free kick. Carrick on the ball. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Carroll. Carroll! Carroll! And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. And it should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. He followed his instincts. He followed the play in. And then he followed watching the ball into the net. Yeah, lesson for any schoolboy. Just to make sure you follow shots in, that you're in that danger area. Restarting at 2-0. Andy Carroll. It was good progress with this attack. It's a quick break. Looking for teammates in the middle. And he's done it. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. And he thoroughly deserves that hat-trick. I have to say, it's so one-sided today. But all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. It's on the move all the time. Some danger now. And they've cut it out. Jose Esquerdo. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. Two minutes. Bong. On the attack here. Going in for goal. So we've reached a break. 3 0 for half time score. Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. Everything that fell. Really was a very one-sided first half, and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. Opportunity in a wider area. Can't lose it here. That would have been a foul, but the referee lets the game go on. Good advantage. Well, when they do say you've been in these matches about the psychology of getting it right on the big day you would have thought ability wise it's uh, very much a level pegging here but in fact one side seems far more up for it than the other yeah I think that does seem to be the case whether the one manager has uh, pumped up his players got them ready better than his opposite number that seems to be the case at the moment trying to pick out someone in the center Now he can cross it. Supporting player alongside. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Good vision. The score! And he scores spectacularly. Well, he managed to keep it down, put it into the back of the net, and the keeper just couldn't reach it. And it's so hard to counter Martin, that one, two-touch stuff. The understanding between this team... Well, the opposition couldn't get near. For West Ham, the winning margin they will feel. It would be a big mistake if they let it slip from here. Surely not. I think they're there. One team really on their game today. The other very off-colour. On to the attack now. A quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. West Ham United, they'll be facing Crystal Palace away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Lanzini.
about Brighton's next match, Alan? They're playing Southampton in the next match. And they're not in the best of form, and I think it will be difficult. Ezekiel Shalotto. Michael Carrick. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Good, strong tackle. David Prepa. Good reading of the play by the defender. That's a serious situation, and on he goes. Oh, he's good at cutting those passes out in that middle of the park. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Here's a chance to attack. They can be quick on the break now. Harold. It's a free kick that the referee has decided to award. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Into the attacking third. Goalkeeper is there. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. It should be. Oh, it's got to be. He's got a chance to cross. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Nine, and in it goes. Andy Lanzini. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. Trying to slip it through. Carroll! Oh, how cheeky is that? Takes a lot of bottle to try that, but he's got it. Well, that really has finished the job perfectly. They've dominated the match. Yeah, ruthless. They weren't going to go easy on the opposition. Thoroughly professional performance. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly... And there is the final whistle. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant... West Ham United 5, Brighton and Hove Albion 0. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Tottenham Hotspur with 23 points. In second, Arsenal with 22 points. In third, Chelsea with 20 points. In fourth, Leicester City with 16 points. In fifth, Watford with 15 points. In sixth, Southampton with 14 points. In 7th, Manchester United with 14 points. In 8th, Manchester City with 13 points. Bottom of the table, Everton with 4 points. And then reading up the table, 2nd bottom and falling are West Bromwich Albion with 7 points. 3rd bottom, moving down, are Newcastle United with 7 points. 4th bottom and falling are Liverpool with 8 points. 5th bottom, moving down, are Huddersfield Town with 8 points.